Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty and I am back with another video. This is a bonus video, that's what we're going to call it, because I normally upload about every four days. So I don't really have a schedule like I upload every Monday and every Thursday. I literally upload every four days. So I upload it on Monday, I won't upload again until Friday, and then I won't upload again until Tuesday. That's how my videos usually go because I'm a full-time registered nurse and um, I just it just flows for me that way. It gives me the time to do what I have to do, um, decompress from work, and actually sit down and think about what I want to film and get a good video up for you guys. So there will be a video on Friday and it will be um, more bead decor because I asked if you guys were getting sick of it yet after my very long video of be decor i could not stop you guys and you guys said no a little bit more is okay so i have one more video i promise it won't be as long of be decor but that is not why we're here today i am doing a haul i normally don't do hauls that much um you can count maybe a handful of hauls that i've done since my channel began um but when i find something that's haul worthy and i'm excited about something I will show you. So let's get into this haul, you guys. Oh, Dollar Tree, take all my money every time. That's all I can say. So I picked my granddaughter up from school today and I thought, oh, let's just pop in Dollar Tree and see what they have. I don't know why I do it, um, but I stopped in Dollar Tree and I found these cute little ceramic birds. I've seen people craft with these and I hadn't seen them in my Dollar Tree. But aren't these just adorable? I am going to keep one the way it is and then I'm going to redo the other one. All I'm gonna do is paint it and make it look like stone. I'm just going to give it some texture. It already has some texture on it, but we're gonna change that up a bit. But I found these and these were cute and I had to have them. And then Dollar Tree has a lot of new things out, you guys. I can't even keep up with everything that they have out they have ceramic pieces out now this is ceramic i only got one because usually if i'm not sure what i'm going to do with something when i see it i don't get it or i'll just get one until i can kind of figure out what i want to do and then i'm kicking myself because i realize i should have got more and then they're gone but i got one of the ceramic um tag signs so i'm gonna do something with this not sure what and then, of course, I had to get some of their coasters. They had the cutest truck coasters out. Look at that. These are so pretty. It says, make memories along the way. So I got four of the truck coasters. They are truly stepping up their game, and I am here for it. I got some ribbon. I know that I will... I won't be using it in my B Decor DIY for Friday because that, that video is already done. I just need to edit it and get it up. So I've crafted all that I'm going to craft for that. But I figure I could put this away for next year. This is really pretty. I've not seen this at Dollar Tree before. This mouth at Dollar Tree before. I get so excited I can't talk. Um, so I picked it up and I'll use it for next year when I'm crafting for spring. Dollar Tree also had this quick cover contact paper, um, self-adhesive, and it is in gingham, pink or pink, orange and white. So, you know, I'll be using this for um, fall and Halloween. When I'm doing pumpkins and stuff like that, this will be perfect. Let me cover it up so you can see it. This will be perfect for that. You get 18 inches by 1.5 yards. So I'll definitely be doing fall crafting with that. And this is not a new item. This is just because I can never find mine when I need it. As you'll see in Friday's video, I'm using a ruler to scrape down <laughs> my Mod Podge on my DIY because I can never keep these. I, they, I don't know. I don't know where they go. They're always gone. So I just grabbed two more Hopefully, I'll be able to keep my hands on those. Not sure. Grab the big old container of glue just because you never know when you're going to need it. I grabbed these Tiki Time, Tiki Time signs. I just got two of them. 
And I got these more for the MDF than anything else to make my signs. So I grabbed two of those. They were putting out tons and tons of things and I was just like a kid in a candy store. I was. I got the Watermelon Sweet Summertime. I picked up the Squeeze the Day. I don't do much lemon decor. I haven't done any this year. I did some last year. But you know, I got them for the rounds to make my round signs. I just will put them in my stash and pull them out when I need them to make signs with. And then these are new. This is, I've never seen these at Dollar Tree. I grabbed two, but look at these. It's gonna be too much of a shine on it. Look at these there these wood frames with the tin in the middle don't even know what i'm going to use it for but i could not pass it up i love the way these look and i can't wait to diy on these this would be good with my chalk couture that's what this would be good with so maybe i'll do something with that on here i also grabbed these tag signs and I'm not going to leave them as is I don't often craft a lot for the 4th of July I do one or two things but I think this year I am going to do a really good 4th of July video um, I don't decorate my house that much for 4th of July I do a um, a wreath on my door that I make and I put a few little things around the house but that's it but I am going to do a video for the 4th of July and really I wanted these metal stars more than anything else. So I will rework these signs and make it into something that will fit my home. And they did have the gnomes out, you guys. I didn't get, they had the plush gnomes. I didn't get them, but I did get this little guy because I think he would be so sweet on a wreath. So I picked him up and I will be making a wreath with him when I do my 4th of July um, video. So, then we get into all the new wood stuff that they have. Oh my goodness. Mind blown. Oh, not the wood stuff yet. You guys know I love the canvas bags and they had some new bags out that I've not seen before. So I got three of them. I got this one that says everything will be okay. I hope you guys can see that. And then I got this one because purple is my favorite color. It says spread kindness and it's in the truck. So you know I'm gonna do some kind of sign with this with flowers coming out of the back or you know a door hanger or read something. This is so pretty. And then I got this one purple as well that says it's all about the journey. Those will make some beautiful DIYs and then the canvas on the back you can always keep that and use it for um, sloppy bows or messy bows or anything like that. You can shred it and use it in your garlands to make tassels. So I love those burlap bags, burlap bags, canvas bags for that reason. And then I picked up some, of they're not really fat quarters. This is from Crafter Square. And I picked up the black and white gingham and I think I have the navy blue and white gingham in my stash already. And I think I've got red and black in my stash too. I picked that up because it screams farmhouse to me and definitely screams farmhouse along with this one. This one has the rooster on it and the farm fresh um, carrots on it. And then it has butcher house. Let's just open it. So we can see what's all on here. I know it just caught my attention so quickly. There you go. Look at that. Can you guys see it? It's got farmhouse with the barn, farmer's market with eggs, butcher house with the pig, farmhouse with the rooster, farm fresh with vegetables. So this is going to be pretty for farmhouse crafting. For DIYs and along with that 
I I was kind of like on the fence when they raised the prices to $1.25. I know it's just a quarter and I wasn't thinking about myself as a crafter and being concerned about the quarter. Yeah, it's an extra quarter for every four items you spend, it's another dollar. It does add up when you're a crafter and you buy as much as I buy, but I'm blessed. I mean, God is truly awesome in my life and he and is just covering me in every way imaginable and I'm so grateful. So the 25 cents wasn't a big deal for me, but I did have compassion and I did think about those who use the Dollar Tree to supplement their food source. Um, and it just, you know, I thought about that. And I'm like, well, that's an extra dollar people may not have. Anyway, I said all that to say this. They have stepped up their game. They raised everything by a quarter, but I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not. Um, look at these. They got the Scrabble letters. 26 pieces. They got black and white. So I've got two packs of those because it's a full alphabet. You know sometimes if you're writing like Breeze, you need two E's. There's only one. I mean, so things like that you have to think about. So I grabbed these. They also had them in just the wooden ones. So I grabbed two packs of these. I can definitely see a project coming up with this. I could definitely see something happening with that. So yes, Dollar Tree did raise their price and everybody knows that. And I, you know, my heart still goes out to those who are using um, Dollar Tree items like pasta and soup and um, spaghetti sauce and, and the vegetables that they have, the canned vegetables and things like that to supplement their food, the rice, the beans. I just, I just pray um, that they're okay and that they're, they're able to continue to supplement their food that way. Um, I get it. I get it. That quarter makes a difference. But I'm just thankful and blessed that I'm able to buy this stuff just to craft with. It's a blessing. You don't realize it until, you know, you know somebody that has to, to do that. Anyway, back to the, to the haul. I'm not trying to make you guys crazy. Um, Dollar Tree also has wood letters. They've all, wood letters, wood words. They've also always had the wood words, but not like this. You get two in a pack. I haven't seen this before. Um, I've seen them with family, but they're the bigger, bulkier, chunky ones because I have them in my stash. So you get two in a pack. So I got family. I got love. I got believe. That'll be awesome at Christmas. And I got home. Good for farmhouse crafting, home sweet home. Home is where your heart is, that kind of stuff. So super excited about those. Now, listen. Y'all see this? I get these at Hobby Lobby all the time. Dollar Tree, what y'all doing? I love it. You get four of each. They have the camera, the stars, the musical notes, little houses, the um, like pop-up bubble, like if you're gonna, in a cartoon or something where somebody's talking and it comes up in a bubble and it, then the words are written in there. It's got little bicycles, it's got sunglasses, cars and an anchor so you get four of each one in there i thought oh my goodness i only got one because i'm not really sure how i'm going to use it um but i thought it was super cute because they cost more than a dollar 25 at hobby lobby just saying and it's the same pack and i'm so excited to see what they do for fall if they come out with some that have like pumpkins and ghosts and witch hats in it or for christmas if they have like little reindeer santa faces snowmen um or even like now for the summer they could do lemons and watermelons and flip-flops and umbrellas because it's raining you know april showers may flowers they could do little flowers dollar tree y'all need to call me i got some ideas for you <laughs> oh my goodness Anyway, y'all, I finally found this um, burlap trim, and I've been looking for that since I saw it on YouTube. I can't remember the channel I was watching because I watched so many people, but I got two packs of the burlap trim. It's a yard for each one. It's not that much, but I thought this was so cute. 
I can do so much with that. I, I can already see it. It's my jam. All right, so now we're going to get into all of the nautical themed things that, that Dollar Tree has. Oh my gosh, they laid it out. So meet me at the seaside and the beach is calling and I must go. Look at these two signs. Aren't these cute? You guys know I got them more for the, the wood and the trim than anything else, but it is their shore living decor and I'm here for it. I'm gonna be changing my half bath to a beach themed bathroom. It's actually not a half bath, it's a full bath on the other side of the house. My half bath is over here. Um, but I'm gonna change that bathroom on the other side of the house um, to a beach themed decor. So this is going to come in handy. I may leave it, I may not, I'm not sure, but I had to grab it. They also have Just Beachy and Surf, Sun, and Sand. Here's one, and here's the other. And I will probably just sit this in the bathroom, maybe put a couple shells on it or something like that. But the other two, I bought four. The other two that I have, I got because I'm going to break these down. Look at this MDF. This is really substantial under here. And I'm going to break that down and do something else with it. So I bought two to decorate the bathroom and two to just break apart and redesign in some other way. I got this anchor. I've not seen this before. Maybe they had it last year, but I have not seen it again from the shore living and the easiest thing and the most common thing that you're going to see people do with this is just cover it in the burlap cording and this is not going to be enough this is only two but i've got burlap cording in my stash i just grabbed a couple more just because i get them when i see it but um this is going in the bathroom you can't really see it that good but this is going to go in the bathroom i'm just going to wrap it in twine maybe do a little something else with it but this is perfect for what I want to do in my bathroom. So I grabbed one of those. They also have, which I thought were super cute. I think everything's super cute. <laughs> these little anchors. Look at these. Oh, my stars. There's another YouTube creator, and she is a mukbanger. Um, she eats food on camera. And you guys, if you didn't know that about me, that's how I started. I started as a mukbanger, and I do have a mukbang channel, and it's called D's Delicious Bites. And um, I started doing that and made friends with a lot of really cool people. Um, but her name is Casey from Casey Connection, and she loves anchors. Can you imagine? I'm sure she's found these. These are so nice. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I don't really get into beach kind of crafting, but this just inspires me and it truly makes me want to do some beach crafting. So we're going to do some beach crafting. Um, I got these nautical pins. How cute are those? Love them. I picked up these stickers. Love those. That bathroom is going to be so decked out when I get done with it. <laughs> and I grabbed a couple of the seaside houses. I didn't get, I only got three because I have these from last year in my stash. So I didn't want to get too many because I already have some. And as crafters or just as good humans in general, leave some things for other people. Don't just take it all just because you can. So they had a ton of these out. I got one of each and that was it. I love these. I don't leave them as they are, although for my bathroom, I am going to leave one or two as they are. But the other one, I'm going to craft it in a house, farmhouse kind of something. But these are so cute. This one says, a mermaid lives here. This one says, it's a beach thing. <laughs> and this one says, on beach time. Love these. These are cute. So I'll be doing something with those this was absolutely awesome love these i'm gonna recreate these in some kind of way make them more 3d and put them in 
the bathroom. One of them will go in the bathroom and the other one, um, I'll just re redo, recreate it some kind of way on my channel. But look at that. The sailboats, good size too. This one says gone to the beach and this one says all you need is love and the beach. I like these a lot. I can't wait to do something with these. I'm going to change all that up. This part right here, I'm going to change all that up. I'm going to use some fabric on there to make those cells pop a little more. This corrugation I'm going to leave. I'm going to paint the bottom, add some wood to it. These are going to be super cute. I just got one of these little bottles just to, um, and they had tons of different ones, light blue, dark blue, clear, frosted, um, whatever you could think of they had, anchors, one had a little fish on it, one had a silver starfish, and I got this one, and it's just going to go in the bathroom with some flowers in it. And then the last part of the beach theme are these canvas. This is really pretty. I love the look of this canvas with the boat. I'm just gonna do, I'm just leaving it as is and I'm gonna put it on the wall. And it's gonna be like a collage, a three piece collage. Isn't that so serene? It's just pretty. So these I'm gonna leave alone and hang those on the wall. Now that is it for my Dollar Tree haul you guys, but that is not it for this video or this haul because I had to go to Target. I don't know why. <laughs> so let me clear out this Dollar Tree stuff and I'll be back and show you what I got from Target. All right, you guys, I am back with my Target haul. So let's just jump right in. I got from the Bullseye Hotspot or Target dollar spot. I don't know what you want to call it. I think it's the Target bullseye spot. I picked up this little um, basket weave fan. What are they calling this? Woven fan. And it was $5. It was a little more than I wanted to give for it, but I have a DIY in mind and I had to have it. And it's really simple. I'm just going to do some flowers in the middle, like a tobacco basket, and then put a bow on it and hang it up. Um, but I really wanted it, so I grabbed it. So we're going to make it beautiful. I also picked up this metal envelope. It was $5. It was not on sale, but I have been looking for the envelopes that they had at Dollar Tree. When they came out, I didn't get it, and I should have gotten it because after that, I couldn't find it anywhere, nowhere. So I got this. It's MDF in the back. It was, like I said, $5.00. And then it's metal in the front. And I, I love it the way it is for farmhouse. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is reworking this for Christmas for Santa mail. That's my plan for this. And that's why I wanted it. So I grabbed that. And then I picked up a few more things for my 4th of July DIY that I plan on doing. I'm sorry I get distracted from time to time. There's a little something going on over there. So I keep looking that way. Anyway, um, I picked up these stars. They were $3, nice and chunky. You know, you could do red, white, and blue. You could do a couple of different things with these. You could do a flag kind of thing with this. You can put them on a wreath. You can make them just table setters or tiered tray decor. Whatever you want to do, these are good and chunky and I believe will be a very nice addition to your home decor once you switch it up a little bit. Or if you do neutral, you could just leave it the way it is. But you know I can't leave anything the way it is. I gotta play with it. I love these little houses. Three dollars. This is a good, I should have got two packs, y'all. This is a good deal. Three doll hairs. That's it. And these are thick and chunky. This is a really good substantial piece of wood. So nice. You could leave it neutral and just use it, like I said, on tiered trays. You could paint it. You can completely do a whole new DIY. You could cover it with craft paper. If you go to Hobby Lobby, I'm sure they have their 4th of July paper and things like that out. This would be really nice. And I'm going to do something with those for my channel. 
Then I picked up all of the Easter stuff because it is on sale. So this was only, um, it was $3. On sale it was $1.50, I believe, for these little metal bunnies, gold bunnies. I'm going to paint these, but I'll put this away for next year. I like those. Then I got these. They're normally $5. I got them for $2.50 each. Look how chunky these are. I love these. I have been wanting these. I saw people on YouTube cutting their own out from their uh, big chunky pieces of wood that they had. I don't have the capability to do all that. So I was really happy when I found these three big chunky bunnies, $2.50 each. I snagged them. I will put them in my stash and these will be beautiful for next Easter. Cannot wait to play with these. I also got this little guy and I've seen a lot of people take this one and do it this way where they put the cotton tail on it and then they paint it through here, whatever color they want it. And then they put a bow on it, like painted this white, maybe painted this purple or pink or whatever. And it was so cute. So you could do that with this one, or you could just do something completely different altogether. It just depends on what you want to do. So I got that. I grabbed one of the eggs, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with the front of the egg. I'll probably turn it around and do something with the back of the egg, because this has got those cutouts in it, and I'm not sure what I would do with that yet. But I've got all year to think about it, so I'll come up with something. And that was only $2.50 as well. Then I picked up these dish towels, a two count, normally $5. They were $2.50 half off. This blue one in the back is really pretty. If you guys can see that color. It's a really soft blue, just like the bunny. So I love that for my uh, kitchen decor next year to set these out. Then I picked up the placemats, four placemats. They were $5 on sale for $2.50. Now these I am, I should have got two. I only got one set because now I feel like I want to craft with these. I want to make a canvas pillow with these. So they're not going to be placemats. I do like the trim because I can use these for bunny, bunny bottoms or I can um, do my pillow and just leave the fringe on there. But yeah, this is going to be really nice for a pillow for next year. You get four. So I could do two pillows or I could do one pillow and then craft with the other ones. But these are adorable. For $2.50, I love it. So I really feel like I scored. Also, they had these, this was $2.50, normally $5. It was $2.50 and I grabbed it because it reminded me of a Christmas ornament. So you know at Christmas, I'm gonna be turning this into an ornament. I can't help it. That's what I see when I look at it. So that's gonna be an ornament. And these were only $1.50. Normally $3, they were $1.50. You guys just saw me craft with one of these. I did the bumblebee on here, the busy bee. I took my canvas bag and I just Mod Podged it to this and it came out so pretty. I added some flowers to the top and a bow. So I love these, love these. So I grabbed two. They had a ton of them. I'm like, how come people aren't grabbing these? They must not know. <laughs> so I grabbed two of these and I will be using those with my Dollar Tree canvas bags. Oh my goodness. Bunny. I'm making all kind of noise, you guys. The bunny. What? Look at that. I know you see it. Look at that. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. Does anybody else get this excited about crafting? And then I grab one of the hearts. You know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. <laughs> so I grabbed one of the hearts to DIY something with that as well. 
But you guys, that is it for this video. Um, I've kept you long enough. And that's all I have to show you. I'm looking around making sure I didn't forget anything. And I did not make sure I got all my bags. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me for this really um, quick impromptu. I thought it was quick. I don't know. We're 30 minutes in. It wasn't that quick. Haul today from Dollar Tree and from Target. Thank you for the love and the support and the kindness that you show my channel. You guys are amazing. I have never been in a community, even though I do have a second channel, um, these, these Delicious Bites, and that community is amazing, but so are you guys. You guys are just as amazing, and I, I'm, I'm blown away by it. Please, please, please go check me out on Facebook. I have a private Facebook group. It is free and it is called D's Cute and Crafty DIY Divas. If you are a crafter and you don't have a YouTube channel and you would like to show your crafts, please go over there, ask to become a member and men will let you in and you can show me all of the beautiful things that you've been designing and crafting and I would love to see it. And so would a lot of the other people over on that channel. We share ideals and um, we get inspiration from each other. And it's just a, a really nice place, a, a beautiful community over there. And I would love for you to be a part of it. So go over there and check that out. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, D's Cute and Crafty, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Girl, it's free. And also hit the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another Cute and Crafty I Deal with D or another haul when I do them. They're not that often. But anyway, um, you don't want to miss out on any of the good things that I have to show you. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Become part of the family. I would love to have you here. What else do I want to tell you? I think that's it, you guys. Other than be blessed, be safe. Craft something beautiful today, you guys. I'll see you in my next video. I got to go edit. <laughs> Bye.